Welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a thriller, drama film from 2019, titled Parasite. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In a small semi-basement apartment in Seoul, the Kim family does their best to survive. Father Ki Tech, Mother Chung Suk, daughter Ki Young, and son Ki Woo work folding pizza boxes for a very low wage and struggle to make ends meet. This makes them go as far as using their phones next to the bathroom window to be able to steal Wi-Fi or keeping their windows open for the fumigator's poison smoke to enter the house and get rid of the bugs, even if they end up breathing it too. One evening, they're visited by Min Hyuk, a friend of Ki Woo's that brings them a scholar's rock from his grandfather's collection, meant to be an amulet for wealth. He also brings Ki Woo a work opportunity, since Min Hyuk will traveling abroad soon, he wants Ki Woo to take over his tutoring of the daughter of a very rich family. Ki Woo has good English knowledge after his years in the military and trying out the university entrance exam four times. Ki Young can just fake his papers to pretend he's a university student since she's good with design programs, and it's not like his employers will look at them closely, the wife is very simple-minded, so having Min Hyuk's recommendation should be enough. Wearing his best clothes and with a forged document in hand, Ki Woo goes to the Park family's house, which is on the fancy part of the city. After being allowed inside by the housekeeper Guk Moon Gwang, he's interviewed by Choi Yun Gyo, also known as Mrs. Park. Just as predicted, she barely looks at the paperwork and trusts Min Hyuk's word, but she wants to sit through the first lesson to check Ki Woo is a good, proper man. Ki Woo will be teaching the daughter to Hei, who starts off as very shy and gets startled when Ki Woo suddenly grabs her wrist, but since it's only a gesture to comfort her when she's having a hard time understanding the exercise, she quickly softens up to him. Mrs. Park is happy with what she's seen, so she decides to hire Ki Woo and pay him well. After the first class, he also gets to meet her son, Da Song, who has joined the scouts and is obsessed with playing Indians. Ki Wu used to be a scout too, so he shows understanding, and when Mrs. Park shows him her son's drawings, Ki Wu gets an idea. He begins talking about De Song's art as if it was truly a masterpiece and when Mrs. Park mentions she needs a new art teacher because none of the previous ones lasted more than a month, Ki Wu recommends his cousin's classmate Jessica, a highly qualified art therapist. In truth, he's talking about his sister, who also shows up the next day for an interview while pretending to be this Jessica teacher after just having read some stuff about art therapy and psychology online. While Mrs. Park talks to her, Ki Wu tutors to Hei, who is jealous of Ki Wu being friends with the art teacher. Ki Wu assures her he isn't interested in her, then the two of them kiss. Back to Ki Young, she convinces Mrs. Park to let her give De Song his first lesson alone, and by the end of it, she impresses her by showing her how well behaved her son is now. She also shows Mrs. Park signs of trauma on De Song's paintings, mentioning an incident he went through during first grade. Convinced her son needs art therapy, Mrs. Park hires Ki Young under excellent pay. Later that day, she also meets the family father Park Dong Ik, who offers his chauffeur Yoon to drive her home. Yoon insists to take her to her house, but wanting to hide she lives in a poor area to keep up the lie, she asks him to leave her at the train station because she's meeting someone. During that trip, Ki Young gets an idea and takes out her panties to hide them in the car. The Kim family begins eating better thanks to their children's new salaries while planning their next move. Meanwhile, Mr. Park finds the panties in the car and thinks Yoon has been taking lovers in the vehicle, possibly even consuming narcotics as well because no one in their right mind forgets their underwear in a car. When Ki Young leaves after class, Mrs. Park takes the chance to ask her opinion about the driver, so she tells her about how Yoon tried to take her home instead of the station. Mrs. Park decides they'll be firing Yoon under some excuse not to start a scandal, and Ki Young swoops in, saying a mature employee is more trustworthy before recommending her uncle's old driver. Of course, this man turns out to be Ki Tech, who used to work as a chauffeur when younger. He goes for a test drive with Mr. Park, who is impressed by his good manners and his vast knowledge of the city that doesn't need GPS to reach his location. His driving is so smooth, Mr. Park doesn't even spill his drink when the car turns, so he hires him on the spot. The last part of the plan is the most difficult one. Moon Guang is a stubborn, cunning woman that has been working in that house since it was owned by a previous family. Ki Wu learns from De Hay that peaches are forbidden in the house because Moon Guang is allergic, so he and Ki Young begin throwing peach fuzz at her when she isn't noticing. Moon Guang ends up going to the doctor for a checkup since she doesn't believe it to be allergies, and Ki Tech is there as well as part of the plan. He takes a selfie by making Moon Guang appear in the background then shows it to Mrs. Park while telling her he overheard Moon Guang say she has tuberculosis. At the house, when Moon Guang begins coughing because of the allergies, he puts some ketchup on the tissues in the trash to make it look like she had coughed up blood. Ashamed to have a sick employee in the house, Mrs. Park makes Ki Tech promise he won't tell her husband about it, then fires Moon Guang under some excuse, telling Mr. Park she quit. Mr. Park begins to worry about the lack of cooking and cleaning in the house, so Ki Tech gives him the card of a prestigious agency he almost worked for, giving Mr. Park permission to tell his wife that he got the idea. This agency supposedly provides families with trustworthy employees, but in truth, it's another ruse by the Kims. 
The phone on the card is a second number Ki Young got for this, and when Mrs. Park calls, she pretends to be a secretary asking for lots of official paperwork. Eventually, Chung Sook is hired as the new housekeeper and the whole Kim family is in. Da Song notices they all smell the same, but they realize it isn't the soap, it's the smell of their old cheap apartment. One day, the Parks leave on a camping trip and leave Chung Sook taking care of the house, so as soon as they're gone, the whole Kim family comes over to stay for a while. They use all the rooms, eat all the food, drink the expensive wines, and Ki Woo even steals De Hae's diary to read it because he wants to propose to her when she gets into the university. The Kim spend their dinner fantasizing about what marrying into a rich family would be like while a storm rages outside when suddenly, someone rings the doorbell. It's Moon Gwang, who claims she forgot something in the basement when she was fired and left in a hurry. While her family hides, Chung Sook lets her in, but Moon Gwang is taking too long down there, so Chung Sook goes to see what is going on. She finds Moon Gwang trying to move a cupboard so she helps her, revealing a door behind it that takes them to an underground bunker created by the architect and previous homeowner. Moon Gwang's husband, Oh Gun Se, has been living there for years, hiding from loan sharks. Moon Gwang helped him move there when the previous owner left and the house was waiting to be sold, and the Parks never learned about the bunker. Moon Gwang would go down there and sneak in some food for him when the Parks weren't looking, which explains why Mr. Park thought she ate too much. She came today because she knew the Parks would be gone, so she wanted to talk to Chung Sook alone to ask for permission for her husband to still live down there, even being willing to pay her for bringing him food. Chung Sook refuses to accept this and takes out her phone to call the police, but at that moment, her family slips off the stairs while trying to spy on them. Moon Gwang wastes no time and records them with her phone, capturing on camera the fact they call each other family names. Now Moon Gwang and her husband have control of the situation, threatening to tell the Parks of their ruse if the Kims don't do as they say. They all go upstairs, where the Kims are made to crouch in a corner while Moon Gwang and Gun Se enjoy the house. Moon Gwang even calls them out for being pigs and making a mess in the living room, because when she and her husband used the house when the Parks were gone, they would always be respectful of the architect's artful touch. While she's giving them such a speech, the Kims take the chance to tackle the couch and wrestle the couple on the ground for the phone. Ki Tech grabs Gun Se and Ki Young drops a bunch of peaches on Moon Gwang to knock her out while Ki Woo takes the phone to delete the recording. Suddenly, everyone freezes when they hear the house's phone ring. Chung Sook picks it up and is shocked to hear Mrs. Park asking her to get dinner ready because they're coming back earlier since the storm made it impossible to keep up a camping trip. As soon as she hangs up, the entire family jumps into action. Chung Sook begins cooking, Ki Tech takes Gun Se to the basement and ties him up, Ki Young hides the trash under the furniture, and after taking an unconscious Moon Gwang to the basement too, Ki Woo goes upstairs to return the diary. The parks return right at that moment, so Ki Woo hides under De Hae's bed and Ki Young rolls under the table. Moon Gwang wakes up and tries to escape, but Chung Sook pushes her back into the basement, making her fall and hit her head. Ki Tech drags her unconscious body to where her husband is hitting his head against the light switches while following a Morse code guide he's pinned on the wall. Since De Song is a scout, he hopes he will see his message one day, but Ki Tech finds the idea ridiculous before tying him up to a pipe and leaving. Upstairs, while having dinner, Mrs. Park tells Chung Sook about De Song's traumatic first grade experience. One night, the boy sneaked into the kitchen to steal his birthday cake and saw a ghost coming from the basement, who was actually Gun Se. This caused him to have convulsions and foam at the mouth, and this is why he's been going to therapy since then and they're never home for his birthday. Meanwhile, Ki Wu is almost found under the bed by De Hae, but luckily, she picks up her dog and doesn't look further under the bed. After the Park couple goes to their bedroom, Ki Wu and Ki Tech sneak out into the living room to find Ki Young in order to leave, but suddenly, Da Song yells and comes downstairs, so the three of them end up hiding under the table. It turns out Da Song wants to camp out in the garden under the rain and his parents let him, deciding to sleep on the couch to keep an eye on him. Now the Kims must listen to the Parks complain about their smell and get frisky with each other. When the couple is finally deeply asleep, the Kims get out of the house and run under the rain towards their neighborhood, which is getting flooded with sewer water. Their apartment is flooded as well, so they retrieve as many belongings as they can before leaving to spend the night in a local gymnasium that opens their doors to poor people that have lost their homes to the storm. Ki Wu has brought the scholar's rock with him, and he hugs it while he sleeps because he's upset to hear his dad doesn't have a plan to deal with the problem they left in the basement. Back in the bunker, Moon Gwang dies from the concussion she got earlier, and Gun Se tries to send a Morse code message with the lights asking for help. Da Song sees it and deciphers it, but it's nonsense. Gun Se isn't in his right mind to spell correctly and only ends up with a bloody forehead. The following day, Mrs. Park decides to throw an impromptu party for Da Song's birthday, and the Kims must put up their best friendly faces even when they're actually feeling devastated after losing their home. Chung Sook must cook and prepare the tables outside, Ki Tech must drive the parents around to buy all the party supplies while they keep making faces at his smell, and the siblings must put up their smart teacher personas since they're invited to the party as very important guests. During the party, Mr. Park and Ki Tech dress up as Indians because they're planning to make a whole act for Da Sun to save his cake. 
After spending some time with Dehei, Ki Wu takes the scholar's rock and goes down to the basement, where he's jumped on by Gun Sei, who somehow has managed to free himself. After stopping him from fleeing with a cord around Ki Wu's neck, Gun Sei knocks him out with the rock then leaves the bunker, grabbing a knife from the kitchen on his way to the garden party. Seeking to avenge Moon Guang, Gun Sei runs out and stabs Ki Yong. Da Song begins having a seizure as soon as he sees him while Dehei finds Ki Wu's body and carries him out to ask for help. Ki Tech goes to check on her daughter, trying to keep a hand on her wound to stop it from bleeding while Chung Sook jumps on Gun Sei and kills him with a barbecue skewer. Mr. Park doesn't care about any of his employees, he just wants to take his son to the hospital, so he demands Ki Tech to drive him. But Ki Tech doesn't want to leave his family behind, so he throws the keys at him so he can drive himself. The keys fall on the grass, and at that moment, Gun Sei falls on top of them. Mr. Park goes to retrieve them, but even during such a deadly emergency, he covers his nose while moving the body. Enraged by such a despicable act, Ki Tech takes the knife and kills Mr. Park before fleeing the scene. Weeks later, Ki Wu wakes up from brain surgery. The injury and the procedure have left his mind in a delicate state, so he can't help laughing through all the things that proceed to happen to him. Finding out his sister is dead and his father is missing, getting arrested, being put on trial for fraud, being allowed to leave on probation because of the traumatic incident that they aren't charged for because it was on self-defense. He only stops laughing when he sees the news report recording the now empty house, making everything that happened feel more real. Neither he nor his mother knows where his father is, but the detectives keep on tailing them for a while, thinking they may take them to him. Months later, after the news finally moved on onto other subjects and the cops don't follow them anymore, Ki Wu goes up the mountain and spies on the park's house, which is now occupied by a German family that bought it because they didn't know its history. There, Ki Wu realizes someone is using the lights to send a message in Morse code, it's his dad, who all this time has been hiding in the house bunker. He has buried Moon Guang in the backyard and survives by raiding the kitchen every night. He also sends the Morse messages every day, hoping his son would see them one day. Back in his old apartment he still shares with his mother, Ki Wu writes a letter for his dad, promising to work hard and get enough money to one day buy the house and reunite with him. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.